Hey guys, this is the second section to my Plexus tutorial. If you want to see the first section, go back and watch that if you're interested in the Cinema 4D part. But now let's get into After Effects. Let's uh, make a new comp. Uh, let's call this one Backflip. So let's create a new solid. That'll do, and let's put Plexus on there. Here we go. So what we want to do first of all is give it some geometry, and we're going to use an OBJ sequence. In the OBJ sequence, we will open up the one we've just exported. So we'll find it here. Select the first frame and uh, make sure you've got sequence ticked that will bring that in um, the scale as you can see here is not quite right what should sort that out is if we bring in our camera copy the camera here pop it in there Trim this to that size. Now, what we have to do is just reset the world uh, in here, transform OBJ. Um, what we need to do is invert the Y and set the OBJ position to 0, 0, 0. Cool. At the moment all we've got is points in there, um, we can delete those, we're not going to use points, and we'll put in a triangulation, great, so what we're going to do is just set the opacity down to 35, and we're going to change the maximum triangles to 3, and the distance to 2. What we also want to do is just play around with the opacity over distance give it a little curve, something like that and then just smooth it out what I did also is if we just go solid put a solid composite on there to make it black and then go Tritone and for this first layer we're just going to go it's a nice yellow to red nice and orange in there then what I did is I created a color map which is just going to mask out this out so we can get a nice grab going through it um, so in the effector we choose color map and if you create a shape layer by double clicking the rectangular mask with nothing selected um, we can add a gradient fill to this and just put it in here above that fill turn off the stroke and fill um, what that's going to do is give us a gradient which we're going to use for our color mat so it does something like this if you use a shape layer with the um, gradient fill you can leave this in the same comp as your color mat um, without having to pre-compose it so in the color mat I will choose that layer and we'll set it to XY Just tweak that slightly move it up a little bit something like that and that's looking good now what we're going to do is duplicate this up to try and get some more color in there um, let's make another version of this um, before we do that I'm just going to call this one triangles the one so I've duplicated up um, 
I'm just going to duplicate this up. May as well go ahead and do that four times. Um, for the second one, we can choose the second shape layer. Um, and we can change the values slightly to, let's make that 2 and 5. And we're just going to tweak this. Then we're going to change the color to a nice pink. <clears throat> and then I'll change the gradient so that it's slightly different. And make sure we set these to add. What I also did is tweaked the OBJ resolution um, just so that they look like slightly different objects so the triangles aren't directly overlapping. Um, in the first one if we set that down to 90 and then the second one down to say 80 you can see that we're getting some slightly different results. Let's duplicate this up again do the same thing, I'll change that to 3 and we'll change the color to a blue. And we'll change the distance to 6. So one more time. This time we'll make it a green. And we'll change this to 8. Also need to change the color map layer it's referring to, and then we'll just go in and tweak these two. So for the blue layer, I'm just going to flip this, so it's just going to show the bottom of it, and then. this one even lower down. So, if we have a look at what we've got, turn off our shape layers, got a nice grad going through there. Now what I'm going to do is bring in a floor object which I've also got in cinema. This is just going to be a still as an environment layer. So if I duplicate this, let's call it Floor, and then we're going to turn off the color map for all of these, and we're going to reconnect to the floor OBJ. We only need one still of this, so we're going to untick sequence. Do the same for all the rest of the layers. Now we just need to change the distance because the scale of the floor is quite a lot bigger than our backflipping guy. Um, so what I'll do is I'll times everything by 10 for the maximum distance. And that should give us some sort of a floor. Let's just bring the opacity of these two down. This one slightly down as well. Let's bring this one up. Now we can bring that floor object 
in here. Let's see it to 50% in there. Looking good. I'm just going to trim that to the action. So go from somewhere like here to here. So that's kind of all we need of that shot. And the other thing I'm going to do is just tweak the values in here. Again, I'll just get a little bit more of the orange in there. Let's pull this out to there. And let's pull back the pink slightly. Cool. And let's go ahead and do the streak. What I'm going to do is bring in the camera data that we exported there's the camera copy that and I'm just going to duplicate this backflip layer let's call this streak and we're going to want to copy our new camera in there delete this one we also want to duplicate the floor so that's floor 2 and replace that in there we will put our new camera in there as well now in here, what I'm going to do is turn off all the color maps for these guys, and we're going to replace the OBJ sequences with the one we created for the streak, which is here. Cool, so that looks good already. What I will do is go through and just tweak some of these values slightly. I'm going to bring down the opacity first of all. Let's make that 8. So let's turn the max up to max triangles to 4 and the distribution to 3. That one. And the second one we're going to go opacity down to 10. Six for the triangles and six for the distribution. So depending on your scene, this is just really a matter of tweaking these numbers, um, getting them to work for the scale of your scene, um, and getting something that looks nice, basically. Um, let's make this one five and ten. Let's ramp those up. And this last one, let's get the opacity quite low, because that will kind of be the tail of it. Um, we'll put this up to 4 and 17. Let's have a look at what that's looking like. It's nice, it's got a nice grad going through it. What I would probably do is add a nice glow to this layer. We'll just do that quickly. Duplicate it. Let's go 20. It's about 60. And then let's add it to this layer as well. So if you want to create a reflection of this streak on the floor plane, 
a quick way of, it, of going about it is just to duplicate all of these. Let's bring them below the floor and go in and you can actually transform the OBJ just to make it act like a reflection. If you untick the invert Y, and let's just offset this by 12, so 12 on the Y axis, and let's do the same for all the other layers. So 12 and untick invert Y. So you can see you've got a nice reflection happening there. What I would also do is add an adjustment layer just below the floor. Give that just a little blur. I'll say five pixels, and then just a transform just to bring the opacity down to something like thirty percent. You can boost it up to forty, and that'll give you a nice reflection in there. So once you've kind of got your look and you're happy with it, you can just duplicate them up fairly quickly to get a nice reflection. So let's have a last look at this, which we'll call main comp. So that's the basics of how we use Plexus to create this short piece. Uh, in the final animation, we added some particular we also added some optical flares and some depth of field using Frischlift. Uh, hopefully there's some tips in there that you guys have found useful that you can take away and use in your own work. And that's it from me. Bye!